face shine upon and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. tonight or stories begin with sixth grade. I grew to be on edge around Christmas time almost constantly, spending too much time on homework, feeling worried, alarmed, and sometimes guilty. There were a few nights that I argued a lot with my family until these occurrences reached a boiling point and my family took me to two or three doctors who deduced that I had an anxiety disorder. Knowing this helped me know what I was facing and get through it a little bit more easily, but I wasn't feeling better yet. I had to go through a program, I missed some school, and still felt anxious during all of this, and I was also out of my comfort zone. But eventually, I got through these with the help of Jesus, and I felt stronger and more ready to tackle the occurrences that would happen later in my life. So think about what feels dark in our lives today. Before I move on, here are some of my favorite truths from the Bible that I learned during my time in Koinonia. First, God loves you and is always there for you. Second, God is wise and knows how to best lead you through the struggles that come with life. Third, if you pray, God hears you and works miracles. And four, he knows you and loves you, so if you trust the plan that he has for you, he can give you peace. A big place where light has shone through in my life has been in Koinonia. It started with my friend Lainey. One time during lunch, she told me about something called karaoke, which was karaoke in the cow group here. At first, I said no, but eventually she convinced me to come. I was slightly out of my comfort zone, but over time, I grew to love it. And that was the only time I went to cow, but she convinced me again to come to Koinonia the next year. I really didn't know how to do Koinonia. I didn't know how to read the Bible that well. I didn't know the lyrics to the song, and I didn't always know if I agreed with what they were teaching. But a year into it, I learned more and more, and a year later, now that I'm a sophomore, I have definitely changed. God has given me tools to think differently about my life and to get through every day with a new perspective. Personally, the things I've learned have also helped my anxiety because since God has such a strong plan, we can fall back on that when we feel weak. So there is some light, and there's a lot of life. Um, there is some light from my life, and I met great people. And finally, what truth about Jesus do you need to remember in dark times? Yeah. 
Friends, Jesus wants to write a story just like he wrote in London's life in all of our lives. So what does it look like for us when we are in the midst of the darkness, amidst the burden, amidst the struggle, amidst the unknown? We don't know what's happening tomorrow or in two weeks or in two months or in two years. What does it look like to rest in the light of life, Jesus Christ, who has a good plan for you and for me? What does it look like to allow the light of Jesus to illuminate your darkness? Friends, as we go forward tonight, as we move into this next song, as the images wash over you, as the the lyrics wash over you, ask yourself and rest in the idea of allowing God to show you his good and perfect and everlasting light of life. the 
breaks the constant night. You're the brilliance, the dream, the evidence of things unseen. Even the darkest days are temporary. You're the everlasting light. All the time and space could not contain you. You're the everlasting light. You're the glory that stays. Never tell you never fail. You are the power, the truth, and nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Even the darkest days are temporary. You're the ever. Yeah. 